Hey guys, we are out today with Cricket, and uh, that's a little water thing we got for him. We got the Bush Tech trailer on, trying it out behind the Go Wing. Uh, I've never pulled a trailer before behind a motorcycle, but it really is as easy as they say. I mean, you can't even tell the things back there. It's so smooth, and it feels like it's so light. That, I mean, we got it loaded not totally full yet. Got some, some of the camping gear in there, but... Um, I adjusted the shocks. It's got air shocks, so I adjust them so they're straight up and down, which is what you're supposed to do when you put your load in. I adjusted my weight on the tongue. It has a cooler up here, which is like a Rubbermaid cooler. Ice chest. Yeah, basically, it's an ice chest. But to air up the shocks in this, there's a little Schrader valve right here. I got a little pump in there, and I can pump it up. I think I got it on like 50 pounds. Of air and that's what set the wheels pretty much straight up and down so it's a pretty cool trailer it's got a bra on the front to protect rock dings on the front of it it's got some places here where we can tie down stuff on the top rack and uh, we already got license plates on it so we can see we got some of the stuff first aid stuff we got some of our camping gear in here some uh, we got our tent and our hammocks we got our sleeping bags some of the stuff not headed out on our trip yet, but we're just getting ready. But got it all set up. Got the uh, lights working on it. So it took a little bit to get it all figured out on the lights. So uh, because the person that had it before, it was actually wired wrong. Right there, the brake and the tail light was both hooked together. So I rewired it. So, uh, just showing it with the flashers on, you can see the tail lights. It works good. So, I got a control module under the seat to run it, and I hooked it up to the connector here. We wired it all. Got the hitch pin on there. Got the. This is a Bush Tech trailer, of course. This is a Bush Tech hitch. So I got the Bush Tech hitch, Bush, Bush Tech receiver, and then the, that's the Bush Tech pin, which is actually like a Heim joint. And um, so it pivots. It'll pivot all the way around. This trailer could just do flips. If it, that would be bad news, but it could. Got a grease circle on here to grease this pivot right here. And then you put a little grease on this Heim ball right here. This is a lock, too. Special key for it. It locks that thing. Keeps it nice and secure. But this thing is solid as a rock. The hitch is solid as a rock. I mean, it's so smooth. Uh, it's crazy. I like it. I like pulling it so far. Just kind of got to get used to something behind you when you turn. So far, I haven't noticed anything as far as a problem. Uh, it's been real, real smooth and real easy. But we've only went about probably 20 miles so far. So we're going to go on a little longer ride here today and try it out. Get more used to it. Turn these flashers off. He's out there walking cricket over there. He ran down there. He's playing in that creek down here. We're Roaring River State Park, Southwest Missouri. He ran down there. He ran right off in that creek. He liked it. Got his feet wet. He didn't go totally under, but he got his feet wet. So uh, we're gonna load up and head out for a ride. Okay. Cricket, you ready to go? Bye -bye. Look at him. <laughs> Look at them wet feet. They're not too wet now. He's been running around the grass enough. And he's got yeah, and he rolled in all kinds things. of junk in his hair. What are you biting for? What are you biting at, boy? What are you biting at? Think I'm a chew toy? Is that what you think? Look at that thing. Ain't he precious? Cricket. Cricket Woodsman Newman. He's a boy. Yeah, he is a boy. <laughs> He is a boy. An ornery little boy, too, is what he is. My gosh, you got stuff all in your hair. He rolled in that stuff right up there on the sidewalk. He likes rolling the grass, rolling anything. He likes to eat anything, too. You got to <laughs> keep him. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him. He eats cigarette butts people throw down. He'll eat anything. <clears throat> okay. Time to put you back in your little home here. Clip you in. So you're him in He's like, I was having so much fun, I don't want to go back in there. Now he can't get out. 
he would like to, but he can't. Say rag cricket. I'm going to open up some more air for him here on the top. Because it's warming up pretty good. It says it's 75 right now. So we got this vent open here too. And then we got the one on the side open a little bit. Don't want to blow him out of there. Okay, we're going to head out down the road for a little bit. Okay. Put her in drive. Head down the road a little ways. Just want to kind of get used to pulling this trailer. Before we take off in a few days? Yeah. I don't want to take off blind and not know what I'm doing, but so far I really can't see that there's any issue because it's so smooth and so easy to pull. Now, I don't know if all trailers are this way, but I mean, the bush tech for sure is. Let's We're going to take it up down some hills down through here and see how it does. Man, I can smell honeysuckle. <laughs> you smell that? My arm's clogged up this morning. I can't smell stuff as good as I usually can. Oh, good. And you'll probably hear him yet. This morning he's been having a conniption fit. Being in the back for some reason. He's just got to get adjusted and used to being back there. But he seems to calm down, I think, once the uh, airflow and also sometimes, uh, we noticed earlier, Frank had the radio jamming, and when he shut the radio off, he started squalling. Yeah. So uh, I think he likes his music. He likes the music, yeah. So he's mad at Daddy for shutting the music off. <laughs> It is a beautiful day. It says 80 degrees on the bike, but that's not right. It's 75. Probably just because it's been sitting there. And it needs to change. Right. It needs to change here in a little bit. Right. Of course, he's a tad bit spoiled. He's used to just being with us constantly, and he don't like being separated from us either. Right. Yeah, so. He, he's so used to being around us all the time. So we took him to Rowan River here a few days ago, and that was trying to get him used to being around people, too. And that, that's no problem. He does like people. Oh, yeah. He hears people talking, and he's like, he perks up, and he's like yeah. looking around to see where that, he really loves kids. Especially, yeah, especially kids, I was going to say. He loves kids. And they like him. Yep. <laughs> and being around other dogs yet, we still got to see how he does on that, especially with the way he behaved with his brother the last time we took him around there, around him. Right. Because he didn't want his brother touching us. Man, I don't know what them flowers was there, but I could smell them. I could smell that. I did smell it. I can't, I can't. I can't. I believe that I can't smell the honeysuckle. I can always smell honeysuckle. Probably them real light purple ones that was growing beside the road. Probably. I smell flowers everywhere right now. I'm getting faint, little hints of stuff. Got new glasses. Pretty nice. I can see. <laughs> we both can. Yeah. We both got our eyes examined the other day. and Got uh, glasses. And then we got some shades, some sunglasses prescription. They're nice because right with the motorcycle, uh, keep bugs out of your eyes. 
and I can wear sunglasses too. Right. Which we have the sunglasses, and then on top of it, our regular glasses are transitions where, where they turn, you know, for the vehicle or while we're out and about. Right now, I've got mine on because my sunglasses aren't in yet. Hello? I hear you. Okay, well. Oh, I just didn't say that. I'm just talking to the, to the YouTubers. <laughs> the viewers. Well, it went really quiet, and it's like, okay, did I lose him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to that, like, when we're riding with Kevin and them, that if it goes real quiet, all of a sudden it's like, uh-oh, we lost them. We're on these Cinnas, and we're using the mesh intercom, and it actually works pretty slick. I think it's better than the regular Bluetooth, for sure even if you're close together like we are. Yeah, I can't wait to get out on the actual open road and get going on our trip, but yeah. we have to wait on some things, so, and it'll be, we thought we was gonna actually get to leave this weekend. We thought we was gonna get to bump it up and leave this weekend, but circumstances had it that we have to wait on a couple of things so I mean we did get the hitch in but now we're waiting on the tires for the trailer to come in <laughs> yep. get the tires on the trailer these tires are probably okay but the tires ain't very expensive and I thought you know what we better go ahead and get tires now and run some new tires I can throw one of the old ones in there for a spare in case in case it did have a flat and throw in some tubes. The guy we bought this all said these are tubeless, but they're actually not tubeless. There's tubes in those tires. Yeah, and then we got to make one more stop next weekend before we actually head out, head out. We're going to stop by our daughters, visit them for a night, and she's making us some stickers for our trailer. Make some wisdom decals. I couldn't tell the difference going up the hill that there's a trailer on there. No. It just felt like you don't know, if you don't you'll forget that the trailer's on there. This thing has so much power you don't even know you're pulling anything. Well, and it may be a little bit different too once we get the rest of our stuff in there. We don't have it fully loaded either. Right. Well, I got some battery backups in there, some uh, some portable generators portable power stations, I should say, in there for weight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I put a couple of those in there, make it heavy. Oh, I didn't know that. That's exciting, because once we put a spare tire and then put in our clothes and the rest of our things that we need, um, then we should be pretty well ready to go. Right. I got to make a list of stuff to make sure that I don't get anything. Oh, I'm loving my new glasses. I can see. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be able to see. Yeah. I mean, I'm st my eyes are still adjusting because of the lenses and everything, but but it's so much different to be able to actually now be able to see in front of me a little clearer than what I was. Uh-oh, I both got my windshield. Our friend Jesse works at Walmart at the optometrist area for the glasses so she helped us get us our appointment and see the doc and and they got us all set up we are going across Table Rock Lake down here in Eagle Rock Southwest Missouri a duck down there. Swimming in the water. What was it? A duck. Oh. I think it was a female mallard. Thought it kind of looked like. 
Man, what a beautiful day. It's an awesome day. Warm, warm, warm. It's nice. So we are rolling into Eureka Springs, Arkansas. There's some motorcycles. We've seen lots of motorcycles. We've oh, seen a lot of bikes down through there, no doubt. And a lot of them was Harley trikes. About as many Harley trikes as anything. It's a beautiful day. Everybody's this warm weather is getting everybody out. Yeah. This is the weather we've been waiting for. You know, even though we done actually quite a bit of riding through the winter, I was surprised. We pretty much rode all winter. Most, I mean, there was sometimes we didn't, but most time we rode a lot on the we shadow. Did get a, we did get a few short hours in here and there. We put 4,000 miles on the shadow through the winter because yep. I bought it pretty much in the winter. And yep. Rode it all through the winter. It was a good bike. It's going to go to its new owner before long. It served its purpose. It's going to go to a new home. Good home. So, yeah, I can't tell the trailers back here. I must have actually forgotten, and I looked and seen a mirror. It's kind of weird seeing that little trailer back there, but it pulls so easy you don't even realize it. I can't tell no, I can't tell no difference in braking either. I mean, feel, to me it feels like this thing stops just as good, takes off just as good, climbs the hills just as good. I really can't tell no difference. I'm sure there's got to be some difference, but yeah. it must be pretty minute. They're having ice cream. I noticed that, and every time we stop by there to get the ice cream, they've closed. Man, oh man. That's the way it is. Every time we see them like that, when we're doing something like this, they're open, then when we decide to stop in, they're closed. Yeah. Silly people. What? Silly people. Oh, yeah. Boy, his shirt's bright. That's loud. <laughs> it is loud. <laughs> I don't even think they're open, are they? They don't look like it. We went to that barbecue place before. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was. Pretty good ribs. There's your Chevy Blazer. There was an old Jeep. Oh, yeah. I was seeing the Chevy Blazer there. They had it up underneath the little carport. There's an old Jeep there, right here. Yep. But that one's been painted a little bit. The other one, well, no. It ain't. The other one was more of the army green, though. That one's like a tan. Mm-hmm. I guess like the desert tan, maybe. Yeah. That's what that it one's, is. The other one was actually the army green. They're cutting logs out there. Get a little sawmill. Yep. Kind of cool through here. Yeah, it is. Almost feels like a rainstorm coming. Get ready Probably is. We're going to get drenched. Is it supposed to rain? I don't think so. 5% chance. Uh, it's probably going to do it right here. <laughs> it's going to be the 5% right on top of us. Because of the fact that it's cool right through here. That's funny.
pretty neat down this little road. Yep. Right by, we turned there by the Great Passion Play. There's a spring down here. There's all kinds of springs around Eureka Springs, is why they call it that. There's, I don't know how many springs there is around here, but it's a bunch. Lots. Yeah, they're all over the place. Just stop at this one down here and get cricket out for a little bit. Let him stretch his brain. <laughs> Neutral, park and break, turn it off. Uh-oh. The rubber thingy come off here. That's all right. Hey, Cricket, baby, you went out? Went out for a bit? Huh? He's like, well, yeah, I want out. You gotta be so close to this thing, or she can't open or close the, the uh, compartments. I don't, I don't have my key on me. I should have brought it with me today, and I didn't. So I don't have to bug you all the time. It's good. You gotta be so close to it for it to be in range to work. And closer than you think you need Look to be. Look at there. There's some strawberry plants. Right here. Yeah. Uh oh. Dual sport. 300L. Rally. I say, I came by there and I saw you out there. That was me on the 300L rally. <laughs> Let's go up here and look at this spring. Cricket, you want to go? He done good climbing stairs the other day. I'm going to see if you'll climb these. Come on. Now, coming down them was a different uh, thing, but going up them, he done good. You definitely don't need to be licking the oil. Let's Come on, Cricket. Come on. Come on, baby. Look at this. Come on. Oh, well, yeah. Good job. That ain't no problem. But I got, we got to see how he does going down them. Come on, Cricket. Come on, baby. Good job. His little short legs got to <laughs> <laughs> do a little out of time. Getting it. Looky there, cricket. He's like, I can chew on these plants. Mm -hmm. Let's go look. He's like, I'll take some of that spring water. <laughs> We'll get you your bottle water here in a little bit when we get back to the bike. I smell something. I bet you it's that mint. It gets mint? Well, I smell something that smells like mint. 
Let's see if you go down the stairs now, Cricket. See if he fumbles and tumbles. Come on, Cricket, let's go. Come on, baby. Take it easy. Oh, Whoa, no. Good, good job. He's like, that's easy. <laughs> Yay, Cricket, good job. First time going down steps. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good job, baby. <laughs> All right, you got a little bit more to do. That one's a little higher. Okay. Come on. Like, I don't know about this one. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on, Cricket. No, you don't need to eat that. Come on. Anything I could chew on, I'd like to chew on. Come on, Cricket. Come on. Come on, Cricket. Bye-bye. Cricket. <laughs> Come on, huh? Another dog probably peed there. That's why he's so That's interested probably in exactly it. what it is. Come on, you don't need to eat your flowers. Okay, guys, we're going to end this video here. If you want to take a little short ride today, we may go on another ride later. But for now, try out the trailer. We like it. We're good. Yeah. New glasses. See. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. What do you need to see for? You might see something you don't want to see. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hey, Cricket. Catch you on the next one. Come on. Want some water? Right on. <laughs>